Introducing WebXR with 3GS. Converting a standard 3GS web app to use WebXR. In this video I'll show you just how easy it is with the 3GS library to turn a scene you've created into a VR experience. It really is just a couple of lines of code and your beautiful 3GS scene becomes an immersive experience in stereo 3D if you're viewing it on a headset. For this simple example we won't be making anything interactive so we won't be worrying about controllers but it will work perfectly on a desktop if you have the WebXR emulator installed. But for a better experience I recommend a headset. Google Cardboard will work fine. If you're unfamiliar with Google Cardboard it's simply the name for a very cheap device that will hold your mobile phone. You place the phone in the device and place it on your head and via the two lenses you experience a stereoscopic 3D world. As you rotate your head, your view of the world changes. Some devices include a very simple controller, simply a screen touch effectively. To get started, open the app.js file in the folder start forward slash lecture 3 underscore 1. This includes a boilerplate setup of a 3GS scene, camera and renderer. You've seen this before in the previous section. I've added some empty methods in the app. In its scene will be where we create the meshes that we will view. And setup VR is where we will place the code necessary to enable WebXR. Let's start by adding some objects. This example is based on the 3GS example VR ball shooter. I've deliberately removed the motion and interactivity to make it as simple as possible so you can focus exclusively on the steps you need to take to enable a VR experience. In the init scene method enter this.radius equals 0.08 this.room equals new 3 dot line segments new box line geometry 6 6 6 10 10 10 new 3 line basic material color 0x 808080 this.room.geometry.translate 030 this.scene.add this.room const geometry equals new 3. Dot icosahedron buffer geometry this.radius 2 for let i equals 0 i less than 200 i plus plus const object equals new 3. Dot mesh geometry New 3. Dot mesh Lambert material, color math.random times 0x ff ff ff. Object.position.x, this.random minus 2, 2. Object.position.y equals this.random minus 2, 2. Object.position.z equals this.random minus 2, 2. This.room.add object. Here we create a line box that is six units wide, high and deep, and width, height and depth are divided into ten segments. The line segments class creates an object that is rendered as lines, not triangular faces. So we're directing the renderer to simply draw a line box using this code. After creating the box, which we save as the class property room, we add it to the scene, then in a for loop, we create 200 randomly coloured spheres. These have radius 0.08, which is 8 centimetres in the units used by a VR experience. Remember that units in a VR experience are in metric quantities, and 1 equals 1 metre. Because a user can move around in VR, the units are very important. If you run the app now, you will see the scene set up, but no option to enter a VR session. To do this, we will use the 3GS class VR button, which is added to the imports for this example. Slide down to the setup VR method and enter this.renderer.xr.enabled equals true. Document.body.appendchild VR button dot create button this dot renderer. How amazingly simple is that? Quite a bit happens behind the scenes when you click the VR button. And later in the course you'll be introduced to just what is needed to enter an immersive session. 
For now, if you have a suitable device, get your headset on to experience entering the VR world you've just created. It is essential to have a user event to enable WebXR, so there's no option to having a button on screen. But you may want to have your own style of button. This video is from my Udemy course, Learn to Create WebXR VR and AR Experiences with 3GS. Get the full course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.